I, David called me and said there's free food, so as being, I've got the Scoutmaster coming, I was coming for free food, so I guess this was a give this to you. Yeah, I guess. So this, this young man decided to jump in with Pack 586 and be our den chief uh, last year, and we had a rather large uh, den, 16 boys, so he came into our, our den with, with Nick Pagnano, and when they walked in, we, we kind of conversed a little bit on, on email, and say, hey, it's kind of a bigger group of boys, you know, they're, they're really into it, but just be cognizant, it's not your five or six kid den. I don't know, so they walked in and they're, both their eyes just lit up like saucers. Um, ben really made an impact on the boys. Like I said, we had 16 boys. They went all the way through Tigers, and we, we lost them and gained some of the, the, the core group that was there. Having 16 boys in a den isn't always that easy to manage and keeping them motivated, especially when they get to that age where they're, where they're just getting ready to transition. You, you parents definitely know that. As soon as Ben walked into the room, their eyes lit up and it was, it was so much pressure off myself and the other assistant den leaders because they had somebody to look up to. They weren't listening to us just ramble on day in, day in and day out. Ben came in there, gave them, gave them a reason to, to be excited to get out scouting, really helped get them to the next level and as a result, and I, I, credit, I credit him a great deal on this, we had 13 out of 16 boys bridge from Cub Scouts into Boy Scouts. And all of them had something good to say about Ben and everything he did, did with them. Um, I can't thank him enough for everything he's done. From what I hear from the, from the, the, new, uh, the new pack, and especially the new Weeblos 2 Den, he may or may not come to Den meetings wearing a different neckerchief at times. We try to steal him to come to our, our troop. Uh, he won't come. I'm just going to let you guys know. I'm going to still try to poach him, but I'm very proud of you. And you are definitely the epitome of what a, de of what a dead chief should be. Yeah.